Hello, this is Mauricio Camacho for the class Musi 623 TD for Dr. Timothy Dixon is writing comprehensive exam orchestral. I choose symphony and the piece for Joseph Haydn, a symphony 94 nickname The Surprise. Little brief of Joseph Haydn born in March 31, 1732 in Roa, Austria and died May 31 in 1809 Vienna, Austria. He was a genius child, children, a kid. Uh, the Haydn Symphony is, uh, is quizás the most part recognized in, in the world for Haydn. He wrote in 40 years, 106 symphonies. He is called the father of the symphony. Haydn symphony are often separated into periods. For example, the symphony for Eisenthal, 1761 to 65, Esterazzi for the advent of Stern and Drone, 1766 to 74, the symphonies of 30, 1735 to 84, the Paris Symphony, 1785-86, the Tau Symphony, 1787, the Symphonies of County the Ogni, 1788-89, the Salomon Symphony in London, 1791-95. Haydn wrote his Surprise Symphony in 1791 for a concert series in London during one of his first visits to England. Uh, the characteristic feature of Haydn's Surprise Symphony is the sudden fortissimo chord at the end of the piano phrase on the opening theme, or the theme and variation of the Andante, second movement. This theme is also quoted as a popular tune in Haydn's oratorio, The Seasons, which brings to the listening to two opposing qualities that make Haydn's London Symphony so successful. The virtuoso element, the sonata rondo finale, and the desire to the profound to strive to perfection in form and content. Okay, ahora more in deep in the Symphony 94 surprise wrote in 19, 1791. This symphony consists of four movements. Movement one, Adagio Cantabile and Vivas Asai. Movement two, Andante. Movement three, eh, Minueto and Trio Allegro Molto. In movement cuatro, Finale in Allegro Molto. The instrumentation, the word is scored for the strings. Two of each of flute, oboe, bassoon, horns in G, and trumpets in C, as well as timpani. Haydn orchestration allowed the continuation of the trend of the 1780s, in which the good winds were thrilled with remarkable freedom. Bueno, first movement, the adagio cantabile, the slow introduction, is a curtain race had become increasingly important in Haydn late orchestral work, preparing the listener for the main part of the movement. Unlike many other Haydn symphony here, there is no thematic connection between the introduction and the main allegro. Through some might suggest the opening interval of a four as loose connection. The slow introduction opening in dominant by the alteration of the good wind and the strings, Haydn making the most of his double good wind session. The choral like opening contrast with the eighth note movement of the string. After the sonority of the good wind instrument is spotted by the repetition of these opening bars, with flute added the string, eight note rhythmic movement becomes a feature of the rest of the slow motion. Before the key of G is established, chromatic movement appears taking the music on a wearing road through the dominant key before the vivace aside. Listening is only 16 bars. In three, four, three quarters per pulse should divide in two A notes in each pulse. Okay. 
The Vivasa Sai, o sea, se compara, is in a sonata form through it is not as straightforward for the navigate as other, although he is known for his monothematic across his work. The first movement is an example of Haydn's reconciliation to the presence of a second subject as a necessary contrast, not just thematic, but also in terms of dynamic and rhythm. This is in the exposition bar 17. Listen to. Okay. G established here. Verse 21. Okay. The music has a rivet of the dominant seven of G in bar 35. Okay. In major, in bar. 39, a repetition of the first subject. Okay. In bars 5-3, the first subject is starting again, hinting in D minor. With a subsequent patch passing around the key, fishing in D major at the bar 66. Okay. The second subject, part one, in bar 8068. In major dominant of G. A syncope opening at the first of two second subjects. Second subject, part two, bar 1379. Okay, the development bar 108. I'm passing for different keys. This starts in C minor. Okay, bar 116 in F minor. In bar 123 in D minor. Dynamics. Bar 141 in F chart minor. And in bar 148 in B minor. And they go to the recapitulation first subject in bar 154. Okay, second subject, part one, bar 885. And second subject, part two, bar 230. Okay, this is perhaps the most important. The melody is a sonata form structure with contrasting ideas of each theme. The first subject is characterized by a rising form, whereas the first theme in the second subject has the repeated syncope note followed by a scallic passage. The second theme is a second subject starts with a slightly less movement and it's characterized by the repeated falling seven, which occurs four to five bars into this theme. Okay, within the tonic key of G major, Conversation, sona, convention of sonata from tonality, dynamic and functional harmony prevails with occasional chromaticis to add color and contrast to the texture. And uh, use the pedal between bars 21 to 29. Okay. Homophonic texture in the introduction and melody and accompany, accompanying texture in the vivas side. Rhythmic is 3-4 opening, provides almost solemn contrast with the main 6-8 vivas. Second movement, Andante. 
The well-known Andante contains the surprise fortissimo chord which gives the symphony a nickname. The move is in C major, the subdominant of G and its structure of a theme and variation. Oh my, the first 16 bars start the theme. Okay, the surprise chord in bar six, the name of the symphony. Piano to fortissimo, bar 16. Variation 1, C major, bar 33. The first violin decorated with the contour melody of 16 notes. The solo flute joins to the octave above at the end of the first eight notes. Okay, variation 2, the name minore in C minor, bar for the name. Unison, the string of the theme of the minor key for the strings and good wind in the first half of the variation. And now go to the variation three in bar 75 in C major and return with C major. Return to the theme, the oboe play the theme and repeat 16 notes and repeat the violins take the team back while the solo flute plays a contrasting legato ID. Variation 4, bar 107 in C major. So the first violin play sextuplets. The team is played by the goodwins and brass. Few chords in the lower street add to the dense texture. Coda bar 139. One, two, three. Okay. This is the most important of the second movement. The harmony is dionic chords and minor variation is a chromatis beyond C minor. Uh, es como diálogo question and answer mm -hmm. uh, in two four minutes with a steady quarter note and eight note movement the third movement is time signature the name um, is minueto in allegro molto minueto and trio. The third movement symphony follow a typical minueto and trio. The binary, binary form section are prepared, and after the trio, the player return to the minute to play it through without repeats in tonality of G. Listen the start in bar one. Minuto. And it will be repeated. And second part of the minueto in bar 19. Okay. Uh, Apoyaturas in between bars 9 to 7, 14. And different minor keys between bars 28 to 35. Recapitulation and trio in 63. Se comparó de minuto de trio 71 en repetición, and then all the return to the minueto and finish. Yeah, repetition and ending no repetition in bar 62. Uh, Y perhaps the four movement finale allegro, time sync to in two four in two pulse quarter notes, subdivision is not necessary, is a sonata rondo uh, and is in G major. This is this position. Development. Y recapitulation.
Ok. Uh, most important, the first object has opening team, has two idea. The first idea uh, open with the rising four with a melody stay with a small right. The second idea be descending from the upper register to ending flourish and sequence of 16 notes. Team B of the opposition comprise scalactic passion for the violins. The high use a predominantly melody and accompanying texture. Okay, this is the most important uh, of the Symphony 94. As an orchestral conductor, learn about the design of symphony and the use of different dynamic and textures. As a well rhythmic work, was very interesting and gave me a lot of knowledge. Finally, this work had relevant to finish my master's degree in orchestral conducting, and it is the beginning of a new profession on the stage. Thank you so much for this opportunity. See you next.